Hey guys, Paul here from Running Injury Free Revolution and we've had a lot of people asking about what's the best way to stretch your gluteals for running because if they get tight they can really inhibit themselves and, and runners will often have that lack of stability and it really leads to overuse injuries. So we're going to show you four specific ways to stretch out your glutes right now. Okay guys, so the first glute stretch we're going to show you is lying down. It's your figure four stretch, so most of you will know this one. Okay, so you're crossing your leg over your knee. Then what I want you to do is put one hand through this hole here. Okay, so you've got a little hole here, put the hand through the hole, grab hold of the knee, and you gently draw it towards you. Then I want you to lower your head down and relax your neck and shoulders. So this is a really great stretch, and you'll feel that stretching out through the side of the glutes. Often when I see people do this, when I see them really having their heads up, I want you to try and relax that down and let all the tension go so you can just focus on stretching the glutes for me. So it's a handy one guys because you'll, you'll pick up glute max, you'll also pick up glute med. What you can do with this one, like you, you'll get, I always think of stretches as, as a linear stretch so you're getting one line of fibres there. What Ange can do is you can slightly draw that across so yeah and that changes the angle of the stretch so if you think about that big fan of muscles through that gluteal uh, you're trying to pick up all edges of that so, so that that's the second position and then if she just draws it across slightly more again so she's heading that way so can you feel that actually change positions so so start to think of that as well guys okay so that's your figure four the next one we wanted to show you some people find it hard to get into that figure four position so if you do feel it a bit tight in the hips with that one you can do this version where you just gently draw one leg up you draw it towards your chest and then we want you to draw it diagonally across towards your opposite shoulder so you're just gently drawing that knee across and again stretching out through the side of the glutes here. So again, that's that first linear stretch. If we just then push it over just a little bit more. So that'll change the position of the stretch. And I'll usually do that 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Those the three positions. And that way you're still getting a real 30 second like great stretch, but you're subtly changing the fibres. Okay, the next one we wanted to show you is a sitting up stretch, okay? So if you don't want to lie down, with this one you just bend one leg up, you get your other leg and you put it over your knee, okay? Now with this stretch, obviously you need nice flexibility through your hips. What we want you to do is get your arms and gently stretch them and push up through your lower back, okay? So you're really trying to lengthen through that lower back to get the most out of the stretch here. Nice straight back if you can with this one. Again, trying to hold for 30 seconds, and as we say, we're all the others comfy at all times, guys. So again, this is a different position, guys. So it's probably almost adding a subtle little neural component to the stretch, uh, but it's still, you know, a, a fairly standard uh, muscle stretch position. Uh, again, we're trying to pick up all pieces. Okay, the fourth one we wanted to show you today is a great one if you've just finished your run and you've got your park bench. We're just sitting down. One leg bent like this, and then the other leg crosses back over. Okay, this is also a great one if you sit at a desk all day and you just really need to stretch before you um, you get out for a run that night. So you've got one leg crossed over. Then what we do, you can just gently place your arms and just lean forward. When you lean forward, we want to keep a nice straight back in this position, guys. So really good stretch as well, guys. Really target piriformis this one. Um, and again, remember as runners, uh, oftentimes your sciatic nerve will run through piriformis. It, it, it sort of runs, can run over, can run under, and, and about 17% of people, it actually, sciatic nerve pierces piriformis. So really good to keep that long for running. So they're really great little gluteal stretching exercises. Uh, important to keep them long because, uh, again, if we lengthen our glutes, that will actually optimize our position of our pelvis. Uh, and as runners, very commonly they get tight. They can do funny things like anterior tilt our hips. They can inhibit the, those glutes by being tight. So we got to keep them long for our technique, our speed, our endurance, and, and to stay on the field. So, so get going with that. Comfy at all times. If there's any pain, any symptoms at all, obviously don't do it. If you have any injuries, check with your doctor before you start any, any stretch program. Um, but, but great ones to get going with. I'm going to show you how to start to bias your neural stretches with those types of activities in a video coming up soon. So guys, I'm Paul from Running Injury Free Revolution. Check us out at riffrev.com.